Hey gang, it's Beta here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers Armada Deluxe Class Blur with Incinerator. Now, the first thing I want to mention is Blur has seen, or this mold of Blur specifically, has seen multiple repaints and retools. So we have this version, a red repaint called Swerve, a another uh, repaint with a remolded head, uh, a G1 remolded esque head in um, Cybertron, and then we had the this same mold with the G1-esque head as Blur from Botcon 2008, and then we had him remolded and re or repainted again in Galaxy Force in Japan. So uh, this mold has gotten around quite a bit. As you can see, it is a futuristic car, and it looks quite nice, actually. I really like the vehicle mode. It, it works, and for the character known as Blur, it is actually very good and very appropriate. And then uh, Incinerator is a cool little Formula 1S car. Transformation for Incinerator is it's dead simple. Fold out the, uh, the rear of the vehicle into the legs. Uh, take the drag strip uh, part and fold it down, and then separate to form an oversized right arm and then a little left arm. And he's got a cute little visor, so he looks pretty cool, but um, yeah, he's a little bit uh, disproportioned. So we'll return incinerator to vehicle mode, so we can show uh, show you guys what he does with blur. All right, there we go. So, uh, what we do is we actually come behind the spoiler and plug him directly in. Now, this is a case of this Minicon has to go with this bot. Because I don't know of any other Minicons that, that this will work with. And work is sometimes a... Ah, uh... Oh, there we go. So he can fly. He becomes a VTOL car, vertical takeoff and landing car. Okay. Actually, that's kind of cool. That is a decent upgrade, if you ask me. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the transformation. Turning blur to car mode is uh, very easy. I just folded up the, the wings. Transformation is rather interesting. Um, it, it is a little bit annoying. So, what I'm actually going to do is start off by deploying the wings and removing the guns so we could just put them off to the side. I have transformed this a couple times and shot myself with the guns. Alright, so what we're going to do is actually reach back here and first fold that up just to get a lay of the land. And then reach up to the front of the car and just split it. And then reach back to where the doors would be and actually fold them down and out of the way like that. That will enable us to come in here and fold out the arms. And then what we do is when we fold them out, we fold them out as far as they'll go, and then we push them up like that. That will allow us to fold down everything else. And then we come back here and we reach under and pull out the legs and flip this little bit down. Nope, we can't do that yet because we need to come back, reach underneath, and fold the entire bottom of the figure up like that. So doing that again, I'll show that to you again. It's all compressed like that, or it's all compressed into the form. So what we do is we fold that up and then it swivels out a little bit, which allows us to bring everything forward and those, uh, those side panels, which would be the vehicle's doors, actually fold underneath the figure's arms. Fold down the, uh, I guess, the crotch plate. And then finish folding down the hands. And flip out the feet and the heels. And there we go. Now, Blur actually looks pretty good. Uh, he's got some decent light piping. Uh, from up here, and his head is that of a uh, kind of a race car driver, and it does work. Uh, he was a consummate bad boy in the show, too. But there is a major problem. Can you guess what it is? Gravity. He's very, very top-heavy, so what we're going to do is deploy the, um, the wings again, 
And that does help a little bit, but he's still really top-heavy. Which is unfortunate, because in robot mode he looks pretty good. Except he's just got this ginormous backpack, which is a major problem. He also doesn't have real hands, so you see those uh, peg holes? That's where the guns go. And that was my cat, if you heard that. Overall, though, he looks very cool, very formidable. Uh, the only way I've ever been able to really get him to stand is by putting the guns on him and then twisting the feet out ever so slightly. That creates uh, enough of enough of a, a platform on his feet for him to uh, just not fall over. Now, like I said, overall, he looks pretty good. This mold isn't awful, but it does have a few flaws, like the fact that it has a giant backpack and is excruciatingly top-heavy. But I do kind of dig it. It's not perfect, but it is fun. So if you can get a hold of this mold uh, in any way, shape, or form, it might be worth a few bucks. But I wouldn't go out of your way to get one.